Wasn't that amazing? And do you see what it said at the end? Enjoy the show. You going to enjoy the show? No, that wasn't loud enough. That really wasn't. Are you going to enjoy the show? Because it's a wonderful show tonight with uh, agility, with heel work to music, with obedience, with uh, the Scruffs, the James Welbeloff Scruffs, Crossbreed Family Dog of the Year, and also those two wonderful groups of the working and the pastoral. But first, it is international agility. And we've had some wonderful international competitions here today to take us through our nations. Mr. David Ray. Thank you, Nick. Well, it's International Saturday. We've had a great day in the arena today. And earlier on with the International Hillwork to Music competition, you'll be seeing that with a later. It was a stunning routine. And uh, one of the favorite sayings of mine, when things are really good. Later on, as Nick said, we've got the International Junior Handlers final. There was 45 entrants in that. And now we've got the International Agility. We've had two each during the day. It's been a really tough fought competition. This course is gonna really test them. And now we're gonna meet all the handlers from the countries involved. And there are 17 of them. And I know you're gonna support other countries when they come into the arena. And we're gonna start off with the first country now. And that is Spain. <laughs> Alex Sabino is, is representing Spain. The follow by the Netherlands. With Tanya Wiseman. France follows up next, Cynthia Pellier. Belgium next with Gerd Schiff. Sergio Sousa is there for Portugal. Joni Onionis from Sweden. Timo Luto from Finland. From the USA, it was Andy Masio. From Denmark, Kim Gravelin Kratz. From Luxembourg, Daniel Feider. From the Republic of Ireland is Liam O'Brien. From the Isle of Man is Justin Keegan. From the Channel Islands is Chris Mondestri. From Northern Ireland we have Catherine Porter. From Wales we have Susie Justine. From Scotland, we have Alan Short. And from England, we've got Greg Derrick. No pressure on you then, Mr Derrick. Good evening, the Crufts International Invitation Agility Final for Large Dogs is about to get underway. A display of agility work and competition, 17 countries represented, 12 of whom can take tonight's title and the action underway very soon. A testing course has been set up and in a moment Graham Partridge can talk us through exactly what the handlers and the dogs are going to be facing. It is a testing course. It's going to test handler and dog. The first real test will come off the end of the dog walk. They have to avoid the jump immediately in front of them, go round it and into the tunnel, out of the tunnel, over the jump they've just avoided, and into the weaving poles. They then turn very sharply to the right and over a slalom, and they head towards the tunnel, but right in their eye line is a seesaw, which is going to be a trap for them. They then go out over the seesaw, turn towards the A-frame and off the A-frame again. They change direction over the jump and around that jump again, back in towards the snake and then back towards this tunnel, again avoiding that seesaw. And then they come out, avoiding another jump and then the run for home starts. Well, that's exactly how it's going to unfold, or hopefully. Our judge tonight is the man who set this course, Gary Murphy. From Biggleswade in Bedfordshire. 
a testing course, but I'm sure his emphasis to make it a fair course as well, Graham, because they want to see good competition and they want to see the best dog and the best handler rise to the top. A judge can uh, make or break a course, uh, and in this case, I think it's going to be fantastic. You have to try and get that balance of testing the dog and handler, still making it uh, an exciting competition and still giving everybody a chance to get round. These are the best of the best from all around the world, so it promises to be a tremendously exciting competition here this evening. So the first dog is Daniel Fader with DJ. An eight-year-old Border Collie, he's representing Luxembourg. DJ, the current champion of Luxembourg. He can't win this, though. The first four competitors here were eliminated at one stage, either in the jump or the agility. So Daniel, one of those, and can't actually emerge as the winner of this agility final. And although they can't win it, they are being allowed to run because they've come a very long way. They want to be able to demonstrate just how good they really are and also to represent their countries. Good horse, a good dog, this one, over the seesaw. Long jump, now the A-frame. A nice, neat turn there. Moving well, looks as though making good progress. This is going to be the time to beat. Five faults, though, have been incurred. And over the final hurdle, and 36.186 with five faults. A really nice start to the competition. Just there, coming off the dog walk, just fractionally too soon. And up and over that A-frame in a flash. Justin Keegan's here with Leia from the Isle of Man, a five-year-old working sheepdog, going very carefully over the dog walk. Leia was a rescue, came from Ireland. She was feral, apparently, and in really bad shape, but they've worked hard with her. He's worked with her, training her, and getting her ready for this sort of level of competition over the last four years. And look what, the, what sort of dog she has become. Terrific. Very difficult uh, coming from the Isle of Man. Obviously, it, there aren't that many agility competitions there, and this dog possibly has never ever worked on, on an artificial surface again. So just going just a little bit gingerly at the moment, but still showing that everyone just how good they are and just how good agility is on the Isle of Man. And that's pretty good. Five faults incurred for leaping off just a bit too soon on this A-frame. Paws have to touch that white area, and they didn't do. Leapt off too soon, and therefore the five faults. Sergio Sousa with Turbo Toby from Portugal, a golden retriever, six years old. It's his eighth time competing at Crufts, but Toby's first time. And the golden retriever, as ever, very, very popular with the crowd making its way well across the dog walk, now coming through the tunnel, and you can see he's got a turn of speed and some agility going through that, weaving beautifully. Now he's got his confidence up, he's showing us what he really can do. It also just demonstrates you do not need a Border Collie to do agility very, very well, and he's giving us a fantastic demonstration here. This is one of the competitors who can't emerge as the overall champion here because there was an elimination earlier on, but this dog is showing just how good he is now, and that is very good indeed, up towards the final flight, and a clear round, a leap of joy, and that's the quickest time so far. Well done, dogs pleased, everybody's pleased, and Sergio's pleased, he's going to take some good memories back to Spain with him. And the dog straight into the owner's arms, that's his reward, just wants a big game, and that's what this is, uh, just a big game to these dogs. Next to go, this is Liam O'Brien from Ireland with Peggy. A lot of support for him. An eight-and-a-half-year-old Wicklow Collie bitch. This is his third time representing Ireland in the international, but a first time with Peggy. Nice happy bark as she came off that uh, dog walk and now the weave. Have to go through every pole, around every pole, entering from the right side and moving well. They are now as they come up in towards that tunnel, they onto the seesaw. The seesaw must touch the ground before the dog gets off, otherwise they're bolted as they approach the A-frame. 
time to beat 35.150. It's a clear round so far. That's a nice tight turn. Don't think it's going to be quite quick enough, but it's good. Through the tunnel for the last time, and now accelerating to the finish. And the time 38.673. Good round. Lots of encouragement there from Liam all the way around. They can say what they want to the dog. The only thing they can't do in order to get the dog around the course is to actually touch the dog. The international agility final for large dogs. 12 nations represented. Looking for the overall winner. And the first competitor about to get underway is Ice with the handler Kim Graveland Kratt from Denmark, a six year old border collie. And these are representatives from around the world and some of the very best dog handlers from many countries. A real vociferous little dog, this one. Ice, a winner of the Danish Championship on three times, but afraid he's picked up five faults there. Went into the second pole, therefore fix up five fault for a refusal, but uh, there are only 12 dogs in this, so they've got to keep going. Can he control up the seesaw? Yes, he can. He turns towards the A-frame. And good. Oh, just touched the long jump, and that's another five faults, 15 now in total. And I'm afraid to say it's not really gone quite right for Ice, but you can hear he's having an absolute whale of a time. He's enjoying it up to the finish, and 15 faults, 39.827 are absolutely loving this competition as you see he approaches the weaving poles and he goes in between the second and third and that incurs a fault and these long jumps you've only got to touch well in actual fact he gave that a fair old clout and down it came for another five Alex Sabini from Spain with mind a three-year-old border collie a bitch and it's actually the dog's third birthday today how good it would be if she produced something special now. Over the dog walk and over it nicely. Encouraged by Alex to get a bit of speed on. And that's lovely. Good weaving. Very, very smart. This is a good dog. Speed as well. Got to try and pick the right line. And now coming up to the seesaw. Always has to be done delicately. Does good control now. Another control point onto the A-frame. Looking for a sharp turn now as he comes back down towards this tunnel. And looking for a clear round as well. Take a look at the time. This is what the others are going to have to beat. And 34.678 is quick. Great round. Great time. Sub 35 seconds. Just manages to get himself back onto the dog walk there to avoid a fault. Quite carefully down there and an enormous leap over the last obstacle. Cheers from the Welsh supporters, because this is Susie Josty from Wales with Ozzy, a six-year-old working sheepdog. Oz competed in the British Open event on Thursday, finishing second overall. Susie encouraging her dog. Now having to weave quick as you can through and round every pole. And appears to be moving well, but is it going to be quick enough? The line, absolutely important. She has to avoid any hold-ups at all now. Lost a bit of time on some wide turns that are on, earlier on in the course, but no time wasted on the A-frame. And this is going to be sharp, but I don't think it's quite quick enough. Coming through the tunnel for the final time, over the last hurdle, and 36.7 going clear, and that puts her into second place at this stage. Into the tunnel now, and just almost running into the ring party there as it goes in, but losing vital bits of a second. This is Cynthia Perrier from France. She comes from Clermont-Ferrand with Eros, a four-year-old border collie. And one of the dogs who likes to make a bit of racket on the way around. Judge signalling that a penalty has been imposed. Five faults already, I'm afraid to say. It was, but uh, she'll keep going. The dog's having a fantastic time, barking its enjoyment. Sharp turn, lovely turn there. Oh, and it runs past the long jump. 
Very strange. And, and now then runs down. through it. Then runs through it. Good turn. Well, I'm afraid to say that is not going to be one which is going to be in the shake-up when it comes to who's going to be first, second or third. But as Graham says, the dog absolutely loving the experience. Yes, having a great time, just collecting the dog's toy out. And as you see, not putting a paw on that and almost having a collision there, trying to get out the dog's way. Almost up the A-frame, almost had an elimination. Timo Luto from Finland with Punsi, another Border Collie, this one eight okay. years old. FCI Agility World Champion silver medal in 2011, Timo. Plenty of experience. The time he's chasing, 34.678, but the dog needs a clear round as well, and not going to get that because already five faults have been imposed. This is a quick dog. Look at the line through that snake. Not a moment wasted there as he comes around now towards the seesaw. Has to show patience, wait for it to tip. Good over the long jump, now the A-frame. And it's going to be a good time, this. Shame about that early infringement. Take another look at that in a moment, but that is good through the tunnel and up towards the finish at a really good time, 35.015. Such a shame, very experienced competitor and a great dog here. Clearly just coming off the side. Another good call by our judge. Catherine Porter from Northern Ireland. This is Yogi, an eight-year-old Border Collie. Yogi's fourth year competing in the international event here. And Apparently, Yogi absolutely loves the crowd and thrives on this atmosphere, which some dogs seem to get unnerved by, seem to be intimidated by. Not Yogi. Off they go. How quickly is Yogi going to be able to go? And I'm afraid to say that already there are five faults which have been imposed, and everybody, all the dogs seem to be struggling in the early stages of competition here in these rounds, and Yogi no exception, which is a shame because he's moving well. He is. The reason they're struggling is there's such a fast time there set by Alex Sabini for earlier on, sub-35, and the fault's beginning to mark, mark, mark up now. Such a shame. She'll want to go uh, and do the very best she can with this dog. Through the tunnel for the last time, up towards the finish, 15 faults, and it would have been good, but they are having to really go for it. They're having to perform absolutely on the edge, and mistakes are being made. And first of all, there was a brick out of the wall, and then because she just knows she can't keep this dog on the dog walk for a split second longer than she needs to, uh, the faults are coming thick and fast. Juni Arrhenius from Sweden with Nila next to go. Border Collie, five years old. Juni Arrhenius. Winner of Swedish Nationals of 2015 and an individual bronze medal at the World Championships in Bologna last year as well. And a nice start, came over that dog walk well, almost ran wide, but good handling there, steering him over the barrier, and it looks as though this is quick so far, Graham. Really quick dog, really good lines, tight turns. This is going to certainly challenge at least. Over the A-frame. And nicely over that hurdle, nice tight turns. How quick can it be, the time they're chasing? 34.678, but there were those five faults, and what a shame. Really quick time. That would have been a winning performance, or a leading performance, but for the penalty. Such a shame. Took off well, just a touch early, and put a four down, and then uh, the unit came down as well. A lot of Scottish fans here and a lot of support for Alan Short and Bruce. Down from Kokodi in five, regularly competing throughout the UK. And Bruce, a terrific dog, GB team member in 2014 and 15 and in the 2016 uh, squad as well. This is the Scottish Agility Dog of the Year for the past three years. So this is a real contender over the dog walk and over it well. Good speed and good turn, great line there, and now through the weaves and moving really well. 
looking for a straight line through this snake of jumps. Now he has to avoid that seesaw and get the dog into the tunnel. Another sharp turn out of the tunnel onto the seesaw. This is going to be quick, John. This is really good so far, and over the long jump, now over the A-frame, and they've got that right as well. This is going to be right on the mark. Coming round now towards the tunnel for the last time. Can they get there? The crowd's going bonkers. The Scottish crowd won it home. Oh, by fractions. Fractions just outside, checking the time, 34.72 seconds. That puts Alan Short into second. How close was that? I think the I think the crowd actually probably gave him at least another half a second there. They were absolutely fantastic, rooting for him to go as quickly as he could. This is one of the favourites, Roseanne de Masio of the United States with strafe. Five-year-old Border Collie, also at Crufts in 2014, winning the international jumping and strafe, a really top quality dog and could go very, very close here. Look at the way that uh, he scampers his way through those weaves and is really moving well, trying to get absolutely the right line there and seemingly doing so. This is certainly one of the top dogs in America, and you can see why. Showcasing the great American Kennel Club traditions here. Over the A-frame, it's all good so far, it's clean. Is it going to be a clean round? Can she stay with it? Through the tunnel, I'm going well. It's going to be fast, this one. It's going to be very fast. It is the quickest so far, and Roseanne Damasio takes the lead. Well done, straight. What a competition this is now turning into. Tight round the Yukonuva jump, no time wasted, up and down, and just about got a claw on that, I think. Tanya Wiesma from the Netherlands. This is Mystic, a six-year-old Border Collie. Loves doing agility, and she's had a litter of puppies as well, and all four are also top agility dogs, just like their mother. This is the first time Mystic has run at Crufts. Tanya competed three years ago, so she's used to this big arena, but a first time really for Mystic and seems to be handling it pretty well so far. She is, I don't think she's quite got the ground speed to beat the uh, winning dog at the moment, but uh, as I said, it can be very deceptive. It's all about these straight lines, picking the best route to the next obstacle. A lovely, lovely performance and going well and coming towards the tunnel for the last time. It's not going to be quick enough, but a clear round beckons and the crowd acknowledge that that is really good. Time 36.723 puts her into fifth place. And she's really happy with this round in front of an almost capacity crowd here at the NEC. And she's gone the clear round. So let's just wait for the cheer. Greg Derrick, this is for England. This is Rehab. He's got another dog called Detox, but this is Rehab, seven-year-old Border Collie, and this is Greg's 26th year at Crufts. So much experience, but he knows exactly what the time is he's got to beat. 33.795. Rehab is going to have to produce one of the best runs that, he, that she's ever produced. Looking for a little bit of guidance there. Came off the A-frame, but came down legitimately and safely. And now through the weave. So much practice at this, and it's paying dividends. Knows he's got to go for it. You won't see him taking any prisoners when he attacks this course. He's got to go as quick as he possibly can. It's the dog against the clock it's all clean so far over the a-frame was that okay and no five faults have been given and i'm afraid to say greg knew that instantly he was really going for it and the dog just leapt off the a-frame momentarily before the paws were on that white section on the down slope he knew the moment the dog came off the side what had happened such a shame man but he was going for it, and that Greg Derrick will always go for it. Only one competitor now can deny Roseanne Damasio of the United States victory, and that is now Gertie Schief of Belgium with Jamie, the border collie, five years old. Jamaican Me Crazy is the stable name.
Second time they've competed here this year. Won the British Open in 2013 at Crufts Jammy. Says Gertie is an absolutely amazing dog. Well, she's going to have to be amazing if she's going to produce a time to compete with the fastest time we've seen so far, but nicely through the weaves. If anybody could do it, she can. This dog is very, very quick, covers the ground. Quite short striding, but uh, it really is good. A little bit carefully over the seesaw, nice leap over the long jump, now the A-frame, and that's legit. And now it's the dog against the clock. Don't think it's going to be quite quick enough. Coming round now towards the tunnel for the last time. A happy bark of enjoyment. And up towards the last hurdle, 35.379 is good enough for fourth place. But that means that the winner is going to be Roseanne Damasio. Let's take another look at this. Great effort here, great effort. They just absolutely got went for it. And unfortunately on the day, there's always someone better than you. But a well-deserving winner in Roseanne Damasio. A fantastic round. Well, what an excellent competition and what a close finish. Alex Sabini early with 34.678 and mind and then came Rosanne Damasio from the United States so much experience and you can see by a very slender margin she takes victory terrific performance coming for her from strafe Because, folks, it is now presentation time.
So the presentation now of the awards for the international agility for large dogs. Splendid competition it was. 17 making their way into the final reckoning and victory ultimately going to a very experienced agility handler in Roseanne Damasio and the winning dog Strafe. But before that, the judges, Gary Murphy and Kathy Keith, both receiving keepsakes and how well they've done over the last three days. And I bet Gary thought he was going to give us something to bring flowers in. So now the presentation for the winner of the 2016 International Agility Award. For large dogs and a terrific performer from the United States of America, Roseanne Damasio. 33.795 was the winning time and what a terrific performance from her dog Strafe. Second place, Alex Sabina from Spain with mine, 34.678. And in third place, big cheer, big cheer from the Scottish supporters for Alan Short and Bruce, who came in in third place. Excellent competition, and now the big crowd here in Birmingham show their appreciation for some very, very talented handlers and their outstanding dogs.